Hey, everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, a big warm welcome. We're so glad you found us, and we're excited to have you join our community of skincare enthusiasts. Before we dive into today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest content. Now, let's get into the juicy details of today's video. We're tackling a particularly stubborn pimple that's been causing a bit of a ruckus on our skin. If you've ever wondered about the process of pimple popping and how to do it safely and effectively, you're in the right place. I'll be guiding you through each step, sharing tips, and explaining everything in detail so you can learn and follow along. First off, let's talk about preparation. Preparation is key when it comes to skin care, especially when dealing with extractions. We start by cleansing the skin thoroughly to ensure that the area is free from dirt, oil, and other impurities. I'm using a gentle, non-comedogenic cleanser here, which is perfect for preparing the skin without causing irritation or disrupting the skin's natural barrier. This step helps prevent potential infections and makes the extraction process smoother. Once the skin is clean, it's time to prepare for the extraction. We'll be using sterilized tools to ensure everything is as hygienic as possible. It's incredibly important to use clean and sanitized instruments to avoid introducing any bacteria or causing further issues. If you're attempting this at home, always make sure your tools are properly cleaned and sterilized before use. With everything in place, we can start the extraction process. For those who might be new to this, the goal is to gently release the sebum and debris trapped within the pore. I'll be applying gentle pressure around the pimple to help express the contents. You might see some white or yellowish material, this is the sebum, which is a combination of oil and dead skin cells that can clog pores and lead to blemishes. As we proceed, I'll explain each step in detail. You'll see how the material is gradually expelled, and I'll discuss why it's important to avoid applying too much pressure. Overly aggressive extractions can lead to skin damage, scarring, or even more breakouts. So, gentle and precise pressure is the way to go. After we've completed the extraction, it's time to focus on post-care. Proper aftercare is crucial to ensure that the skin heals correctly and to minimize any potential redness or irritation. I'll be applying a soothing toner to help balance the skin's pH and calm any inflammation. A hydrating moisturizer will follow to keep the skin hydrated and support the healing process. Depending on your skin type, you might also want to apply a calming serum or spot treatment to further reduce inflammation. During the healing phase, it's important to avoid using harsh products or scrubbing the area. Instead, stick to gentle, non-irritating products that will help your skin recover. I'll be sharing some additional tips on how to care for your skin post-extraction and how to incorporate these practices into your daily skincare routine. Preparation Before we get started, preparation is crucial. We begin by thoroughly cleansing the skin. I'm using a gentle, non-comedogenic cleanser to remove dirt, oil, and impurities. This step is essential because starting with a clean face helps minimize the risk of introducing bacteria into the skin. A good cleanser will clean without stripping the skin of its natural oils, which can lead to dryness and irritation. After cleansing, we'll apply a warm compress to the area. The warmth helps to open up the pores, making it easier to extract the pimple. We'll leave the compress on for about 5 to 10 minutes to ensure it's effective. If you're doing this at home, you can use a clean washcloth soaked in warm water. Just be sure it's not too hot to avoid burning the skin. Extraction process. Now, on to the extraction itself. We're using sterilized tools to ensure everything is as hygienic as possible. This is incredibly important to avoid introducing bacteria and causing further issues. If you're using tools at home, make sure they're properly cleaned and sterilized before use. For the extraction, we'll gently apply pressure around the pimple. You might see some white or yellowish material coming out, this is sebum, a combination of oil and dead skin cells that clog the pore. We're aiming to be as gentle as possible to avoid damaging the surrounding skin. Overly aggressive extraction can lead to scarring and inflammation, so it's crucial to apply just the right amount of pressure. Post-extraction care. Once we've completed the extraction, the next step is post-care, which is key to ensuring proper healing. First, we'll clean the area again to remove any remaining debris and reduce the risk of infection. 
Then, I'll apply a soothing toner to help balance the skin's pH and calm any redness. Look for toners with calming ingredients like chamomile or witch hazel. After toning, we'll apply a hydrating moisturizer. Keeping the skin hydrated is essential for healing. I recommend using a lightweight, non-comedogenic moisturizer that won't clog pores. Products containing ingredients like hyaluronic acid can help keep the skin moisturized without causing additional breakouts. For additional care, consider applying a spot treatment with ingredients like benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid to help reduce inflammation and prevent future breakouts. Be sure to follow the product instructions and avoid over-applying, as this can lead to dryness and irritation. General Skin Care Tips While today's focus is on pimple popping, maintaining overall skin health is crucial for preventing future blemishes. Here are some additional tips. Maintain a balanced diet, eating a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can support healthy skin. Avoid excessive sugar and dairy, as they may contribute to breakouts for some people. Stay hydrated, drinking plenty of water helps keep your skin hydrated and flushes out toxins. Aim for at least 8 glasses a day. Follow a consistent skincare routine, use a gentle cleanser, exfoliate regularly, but not too often, and apply sunscreen daily. Exfoliating one to two times a week can help remove dead skin cells and prevent clogged pores. Avoid touching your face. Touching your face with dirty hands can transfer bacteria and oil, leading to breakouts. Try to keep your hands away from your face as much as possible. Post-extraction care, healing and recovery. Once we've finished the extraction, it's crucial to take care of the skin to promote healing and minimize any irritation. Here's how we'll proceed. Clean the area, gently cleanse the area again to remove any remaining debris. Use a mild, non-irritating cleanser to avoid further irritation. Apply a toner, we'll use a soothing toner to help balance the skin's pH and reduce redness. Look for toners with ingredients like witch hazel, chamomile, or aloe vera, which have calming properties. Apply the toner with a cotton pad, gently patting it onto the skin. Moisturize, next, we'll apply a hydrating moisturizer. A good moisturizer will keep the skin hydrated and support the healing process. I recommend using a lightweight, non-comedogenic moisturizer to avoid clogging pores. Products containing hyaluronic acid are excellent for hydration without causing breakouts. Spot treatment, if you're prone to breakouts, consider applying a spot treatment with active ingredients like benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid. These ingredients can help reduce inflammation and prevent future breakouts. Be sure to follow the product instructions and avoid over-applying, as this can dry out the skin. Sun protection, although not always necessary immediately post-extraction, daily sun protection is crucial. Apply a broad-spectrum sunscreen with at least SPF 30 to protect your skin from UV damage, which can exacerbate scarring and pigmentation issues. Additional skincare tips, maintaining healthy skin. To keep your skin healthy and reduce the likelihood of future breakouts, here are some additional tips. Exfoliation, regular exfoliation helps remove dead skin cells and prevent clogged pores. However, avoid over-exfoliating, as this can irritate the skin and lead to more breakouts. One to two times a week is typically sufficient. Diet and hydration, eating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains supports overall skin health. Hydrate by drinking plenty of water to keep your skin plump and flush out toxins. Avoid touching your face, touching your face with dirty hands can transfer bacteria and oils, leading to breakouts. Try to keep your hands away from your face and always clean your phone screen regularly, as it can harbor bacteria. Skincare routine, stick to a consistent skincare routine that includes cleansing, toning, moisturizing, and sun protection. Tailor your routine to your skin type and concerns for the best results. Comprehensive skincare advice for radiant skin. Taking care of your skin is essential for both appearance and overall health. A well-rounded skincare routine helps maintain a clear complexion, prevent premature aging, and boost confidence. Here's an in-depth guide to help you achieve and maintain beautiful, healthy skin. 1. Understanding your skin type. The first step in creating an effective skincare routine is understanding your skin type. Here's a brief overview. 
Normal skin, balanced in terms of moisture and oil production, with few imperfections. Oily skin, characterized by excess oil production, leading to a shiny appearance and potential breakouts. Dry skin, often feels tight or rough, with possible flakiness and dullness. Combination skin, exhibits traits of more than one skin type, such as oiliness in the T-zone, forehead, nose, and chin, and dryness in other areas. Sensitive skin, prone to redness, irritation, and reactions to various products. Identifying your skin type will help you choose products and ingredients tailored to your needs. 2. Building a skincare routine. A consistent skincare routine is key to achieving and maintaining healthy skin. Here's a step by step guide Cleansing. Purpose removes dirt, oil, and impurities from the skin's surface. Frequency twice daily, once in the morning, and once before bed. Product choice, use a gentle cleanser that suits your skin type. For dry skin, opt for a hydrating or cream-based cleanser. For oily skin, consider a gel or foaming cleanser. Technique, use lukewarm water to avoid stripping the skin of its natural oils. Massage the cleanser onto your face in circular motions, then rinse thoroughly. Exfoliation. Purpose, removes dead skin cells and promotes cell turnover. Frequency, 1-2 to two times per week, depending on your skin's sensitivity. Product choice, choose between physical exfoliants, scrubs, and chemical exfoliants, AHAs, and BHAs. Physical exfoliants should have smooth, rounded particles to avoid micro-tears. Chemical exfoliants like glycolic acid, AHA, or salicylic acid, BHA, help dissolve dead skin cells and are effective for various skin types. Technique, apply gently and avoid aggressive scrubbing. For chemical exfoliants, follow product instructions for the recommended application time. Toning. Purpose, balances the skin's pH and prepares it for better absorption of subsequent products. Frequency, after cleansing, daily. Product choice, select a toner that suits your skin type. Hydrating toners with ingredients like hyaluronic acid or aloe vera are great for dry skin, while astringent toners with which hazel can help control oil and oily skin. Technique, apply with a cotton pad or your hands, gently patting it onto the skin. Serum. Purpose, delivers concentrated ingredients to target specific skin concerns. Frequency, daily, usually after toning and before moisturizing. Product choice, choose serums based on your skin concerns, vitamin C serums for brightening, hyaluronic acid for hydration, and retinoids for anti-aging. Technique, apply a few drops and gently press into the skin. Avoid applying too close to the eyes. Moisturizing. Purpose, hydrates and locks in moisture, helping to maintain the skin's barrier. Frequency, twice daily, morning and evening. Product choice, use a moisturizer suited to your skin type. Lightweight, non-comedogenic moisturizers are ideal for oily skin, while richer creams are better for dry skin. Technique, apply evenly over the face and neck and ensure to cover all areas, including your hairline and jawline. Sun protection. Purpose, protects the skin from harmful UV rays that can cause premature aging and skin cancer. Frequency, daily, even on cloudy days or when indoors. Product choice, use a broad-spectrum sunscreen with at least SPF 30. Look for products that offer protection against both UVA and UVB rays. Technique, apply generously to all exposed areas of the skin. Reapply every two hours if you're outdoors or after swimming or sweating. 3. Additional tips for healthy skin. 1. Stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water helps keep your skin hydrated from within. Aim for at least 8 glasses of water a day and increase your intake if you're active or live in a dry climate. 2. Maintain a balanced diet. Your diet plays a significant role in skin health. Eat a variety of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Foods rich in antioxidants, such as berries and green leafy vegetables, can help protect the skin from damage. 3. Get regular exercise. Exercise increases blood circulation and helps deliver essential nutrients to the skin. It also promotes a healthy glow and can help reduce stress, which can contribute to skin issues. 
4. Avoid smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. Smoking can accelerate skin aging and cause wrinkles, while excessive alcohol consumption can dehydrate the skin and impair its ability to repair itself. Avoid these habits for better skin health. 5. Get enough sleep. Adequate sleep is crucial for skin repair and regeneration. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep each night. Consider using silk pillowcases to reduce friction and prevent sleep lines. 6. Manage stress. Chronic stress can lead to skin issues such as acne, eczema, and premature aging. Incorporate stress management techniques such as mindfulness, meditation, or yoga into your routine. 7. Avoid touching your face. Touching your face with dirty hands can transfer bacteria and oils, leading to breakouts and irritation. Try to keep your hands away from your face and clean your phone screen regularly. 4. Adapting your routine for specific concerns. Acne. Cleansing, use a salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide cleanser. Treatment, apply spot treatments with active ingredients like benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid. Moisturizing, choose a non-comedogenic moisturizer to avoid clogging pores. Anti-aging. Serum, incorporate serums with retinoids, vitamin C, or peptides to boost collagen production and reduce wrinkles. Moisturizing, use products with ingredients like hyaluronic acid and ceramides to plump and hydrate the skin. Hyperpigmentation. Serum, use serums with ingredients like vitamin C, niacinamide, or alpha-arbutin to lighten dark spots and even out skin tone. Exfoliation, regular exfoliation can help fade hyperpigmentation over time. 5. Regular Skin Check UPS. Finally, regular visits to a dermatologist can help address any persistent skin issues and ensure that you're using the right products for your skin type. A dermatologist can provide personalized advice and recommend treatments or products based on your specific needs. Conclusion Maintaining healthy, glowing skin involves a combination of a good skincare routine, healthy lifestyle choices, and understanding your skin's unique needs. By following these tips and adapting your routine to your skin type and concerns, you can achieve and maintain beautiful skin. Remember, consistency is key. Stick with your routine, be patient, and give your skin the care it deserves. If you have any questions or need further advice, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for reading, and here's to healthy, radiant skin. He ultimate skincare routine for radiant, healthy skin. Achieving glowing, healthy skin involves more than just applying products, it requires a well-thought-out routine tailored to your skin type and concerns. Here's an in-depth guide to creating the most effective skincare routine, ensuring you address all aspects of skin health and maintenance. 1. Cleansing, the foundation of skincare. Purpose, cleansing removes dirt, oil, makeup, and impurities from the skin's surface, providing a clean canvas for the rest of your skincare routine. Frequency, twice daily, morning and evening. Product choice, select a cleanser based on your skin type. Normal skin, a gentle foaming or gel cleanser. Oily skin, a gel or salicylic acid-based cleanser to help control excess oil. Dry skin, a hydrating or cream-based cleanser to avoid stripping natural oils. Sensitive skin, a fragrance-free, soothing cleanser with ingredients like chamomile or aloe vera. Technique. Wet your face, use lukewarm water to avoid irritation. Apply cleanser, use a small amount and gently massage it into your skin using circular motions. Rinse thoroughly, ensure